Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the quarry. I have some uh, quick news to give you right here, right? So last time we shot the old lady, I think her name was like Candace or something, or uh, Con Constance, yeah, Constance. And apparently there's a bug. She, she has two deaths that I know of, two deaths. Uh, and there's a bug that causes them, the models to be switched for some reason. And that is why I was so confused as to why the shotgun barely did any damage to her. She got the model that was supposed to be used when she got killed by a werewolf. But that didn't happen in my game, and for some reason it just bugged. But honestly, the model, the, the shotgun kill model, was like... <laughs> it was insane, dude. She has a face like a dropped pie. You guys can go look it up if you want, but... I don't think I'd be able to show it on YouTube anyway. So, really, the game is helping a brother out here. Um, I discovered that when I did some digging because I was curious as to what would happen if Dylan slammed the car with Caitlyn inside, and uh, I stumbled upon that. It's up in the air whether it's a bug or a patch, but I feel like it's a bug, right? Because she has two models, they got switched, you know what I mean? Anyways, uh, before we start, if you hate the video, give it a big dislike. But if you like it, you should definitely give it a thumbs up. I work hard on these, and it's real easy for you guys to hit that button. Anyway, we're getting into it with Max. We just discovered that Eliza is in on this somehow. Her son is Silas, the white wolf. The white wolf that we're going to be uh, hunting real soon. So let's see how that goes. Now, Max used to be a werewolf, right? I think he killed Emma. Chapter 10, Bricks and Mortar. <laughs> But since we killed Chris, he's not a werewolf no more. Look at that. What a handsome man. Oh, man. Oh, don't kill him. What the fuck? Why am I on top of a fucking tree? <laughs> Laura! Just don't move and you won't fall. <laughs> Why am I on top of a fucking tree? Uh, oh, there. You're gonna fall down. Aston answer. Did you hit your ribs on that post, dude? That's gotta hurt. <sighs> so, what are we doing with you, Max? Where the hell am I? I think you're on the island with the treehouse, right? <laughs> oh, Emma's gonna be in there. Where the hell are my clothes? <laughs> what? What do you what do you have? You gotta be kidding me. What are you looking at? Okay. Max looks good in women's clothing. Look at him. Look at that stud. I dig it. Bro's pretty handsome. Might as well. Let it shine. What's this way? Is there a tarot card over here? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Hmm. Is this the pier that uh, the boys were on? Emma and uh, Jacob? No, there's nothing over here. Okay. Man, I just can't get over how how fantastic Max is looking right now. <laughs> okay, there's nothing that way, which is surprising. So, let's keep moving forward. What is this? A rock circle? Oh, matches. Totally should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. 100%. Did you take those matches? What am oh, I looking fuck. at? Oh! Hey, I know you. How'd you get out here? Oh, no. 
How the heck did you get out here? Yeah, take her phone. She recorded the moment you ripped her face off. Why did you put it back? Oh, I guess there's no self-service anyway. It's not like you can call for help with that. Man. Well, how, how did you get down here, Ebba? We were up in the treehouse before. Walk through these empty woods that are supposed to be devoid of werewolves now. Right. Except for, uh, Silas. But Travis is going to take care of him, hopefully. And then the fortune teller lady is not going to be too happy with me now. But that's a thing I can live with. Hey, check that out. Put it on, it'll complete the outfit. She must have come back. Yes! Look at him! Look at that stud muffin! Hang on, I can't see you, Max. Why is the camera- there we go. Look at him. Look how handsome the man is. This guy is gonna live all night. He has to. If he dies, I just might die. Jacob got the charm and the charisma, but Max got the drip. So there's two werewolves left. Caleb and Silas. I don't think we've seen either of them yet. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think it's a good idea to go over there, dude. You're safe where you're at, no. Uh, just stay here, brother. I don't want you to die, and I think that's the safe option. You're surrounded by water, and you were the only werewolf there. Wait, that's the, that's it? Okay. I guess. I mean, I wanted to play as Max more, but I don't want him to die. The table. Help me. Must be nice having two hands. Okay. Well. Can't get much worse than it already is, right? <laughs> Oh, big right. lightning. Just like the cartoons. It's been off and on all night. Gives us a little time. How do you figure? They don't like water, remember? Right. Yeah. Right. And the big sound doesn't hurt uh, hurts their we ears. Should have just been swimming in the lake all night. And die of hypothermia? No. <laughs> all right. Well, we're good now. How cold is it out? Night's not over yet. These fuckers know we're in here. And they're coming back first chance they get. Great news. Okay. All right. We gotta get a vantage point. We should have just been swimming in the lake all night. <laughs> oh, yes. Heck yes. Caitlin has the shotgun. She's growing on me. I'll admit it. She's growing on me. It's over here. God, these Resident Evil ass camera angles. I can't see where I'm going, bruh. There we go. Anything over here? There was a Ouija board the first time I was here with Laura and, uh... Other guy. Alright, I don't think there's anything in here. And if there is, I'm not going to be able to find it. I can't even find the doorways. Hmm. Is the door locked? Why don't we put that bear in front of it? When's the chimney gonna come into play? Because I know that it's gonna crumble at a moment's notice, right? That's what you were trying to tell me earlier. So, like, when's that gonna happen? Because I'm ready for it. Man, why is it so dark? I can't see anything. I don't think I'm going the right way. <laughs> Are we supposed to go upstairs? 
I think the store st stores are unblocked. No, they're blocked by invisible walls this time. Okay. It's over here. Nothing. Okay. So, what do we do about all this? What's my objective? Find a vantage point. A vantage point. Up these stairs? Does this one also have an invisible wall obstructing it? Ah, it appears it does not. Let's get the vantage point. This is a beautiful rail. Sucks that uh, we're surrounded by werewolves and the like. This would be a real nice place to be. If it wasn't like that. Who is this? Is that uh, old guy and lady? Uh, shotgun face lady? That's who it looks like. What's over here? Mm, doesn't seem like anything. More stairs. Let's go up more. I'm gonna snipe them with my shotgun. The High Priestess. Eliza was killed in the fire that broke out at her traveling show six years ago. Her ghost roams the woods of Hackett's Quarry ever since. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry! Brian was right. Oh my god, he was right. And she's been determined to get revenge on the Hackett family for what they did to her. Her tarot cards, once lost in the blaze, have allowed her to guide you through the night. Though her motives may not have been as transparent as first thought. Yeah. <laughs> hit, the, hit the hammer or the nail on the head with that one. I had no idea she was wrapped up into this. But now that I do, it makes it even more awesome. Hey Dylan, can you turn on some lights or some shit? I can't see anything. I'm not gonna be able to get out of this closet space because I can't see. I'm like squinting at my screen. Oh wait, a ladder. I see a ladder. Does this go to the roof? Uh, no. So, what about that? How do I return from whence I came? St <laughs> Is there something over here? In this room? Oh. Here's the stairs. Nice. My bad. Alright, let's go to the other side, see what there is to see. Can't read that note, there's nothing on it. We're gonna bring Slender the Eight Pages into this some bitch. There's gonna be a weird tentacle ghost face suit man. Oh, what did I see? How long has this guy been here? I don't know. A long time ago. Long enough ago that it was okay to have an oil painting made of yourself. I kind of want an oil painting of me now. <laughs> Prepare for attack. I'm getting deja vu. Kendano through the summer. What doesn't kill you make you stronger. stronger. We're here to lead the way. That meets for life, we're proud to say. Shout at Strad and shout out loud. We're Hacketeers. Two months and you never learn the words? <laughs> oh, I hear something. There's only two people it could be. And both need to die. Does she still have the one silver bullet? Is it coming down the chimney? 
Showtime, motherfuckers. You can't just leave me on a cliffhanger like that. Oh, Jacob! My man! Dude, he's been naked in the woods like 90% of the game. <laughs> Kind of <laughs> Let's I wish I could tell you I'm sorry. More than anything. <laughs> Fuck. We just wanted one more night together. Is that too much to ask for? Apparently <laughs> so. Stop crying, you big baby. Wait until daytime. Come on, Abby. Keep it together. Not long till morning. What? You're not gonna let me play as Jacob. What was that? Maybe he was supposed to get like attacked by a werewolf there, but since there's basically none left, he can't be. What the? Whoa! It is coming out the chimney. That's not a white wolf, so it has to be Caleb, right? We kill Caleb, and then there's only Silas left. You still have that Abby's bracelet shotgun shell? Or is that long gone? Run. Uh, run. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't wait for it to come to you. It's a hell of a lot faster than you are. Oh, he's coming. Caitlin. Oh my god. I gotta help her. I gotta help her. How are you gonna do that? Whoa! Shoot it! Shoot it right in the face! Ain't no way you're jumping out that window. Silver shells? I think she has one. If I can time this right. What do you mean? Beam? Or a window? Uh. Beam? Oh, you're gonna walk across it? Oh, hell no, you're gonna fall and die. I, that's not what I thought you meant. Come on. Dang it, dude, she's gonna die. No! I'm W'ing it up. I'm W'ing it up. I'm W'ing it up so hard, so hard, so hard, so hard. Oh my god, W! It's right there, bruh. Okay, thank god it missed. <laughs> thank god Caleb's a dumbass. Alright. Where's Dylan? Run? Uh, yeah, run. It's gonna smell you. Caitlin, this way! Hey, Dylan. How'd you get back here? No, we do. <sighs> Dylan's like, fuck this dude, I'm hiding. Investigate. Don't kill Caitlyn, please. Silver shells! Hey, I'm here! Use it! Load it! Load it, please! Stop running with it in your hand! Load the gun! 
Load the gun! Is it dead? I thought I might have missed for a second. Is it dead? It appears to be. Or dying. That's the good stuff. Fuck you. Wait a second. Before. That looks like Nick. Was that Nick? Oh god, I hope it wasn't Nick. I forgot about- wait, 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 no, 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 Nick can't be a werewolf. Because we killed Chris, never mind. Unless it is Nick. It kind of looks like him. Is it Nick? Is it Caleb? I don't know. I guess it? we'll find out. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. What? <laughs> Okay. I hope that wasn't Nick. It kind of looked like him. Who are we now? Who has a car? Oh, Travis. I forgot. And Laura and Ryan. There's the shotgun. What happened six years ago? How did you do it? Uh, what happened? So what exactly happened six years ago? There was a fire that wiped out dozens of people, and now there's werewolves and a ghost that roams the woods looking for her lost baby boy. You mean the hag of Hackett's quarry? Which I just put together is Silas. Oh shit. It's a long story. No, it's not. There was a fire. Silas the wolf boy escaped, bit a bunch of your family. You failed to stop him. Burn. Damn. What happened in the past doesn't matter right now. Uh, it kind of does, actually. We need to know what we're up against, at least. What we're up against is a feral boy turned werewolf for the last six years has avoided being found. No matter what we did. Every full moon we were out there looking. Every single one. Now the son of a bitch is finally here. So what we're up against is my only chance to end this thing for good. So how do you even know where he is? How the hell are we gonna find him just driving down the middle of the road? Whoa! Is that him? Right. I almost missed that one. Grab gun? No, get the gun. It has to be Silas, right? Grab gun. No. Uh, uh, um, uh. Take cover? Did he say get down? Oh, is that him? Run it down! Where's Ryan? Oh, he's still there. Where did he go? He can't have just disappeared. He's gotta be nearby. Ryan, you can come out now. You're scaring me, brother. Let's look around. Are you crazy? <laughs> Ryan? Okay, he's all right. Are we there yet? Bro probably okay? smacked his face off the window. Been better, but yeah. Over here. Did you find it? Shoot Got it. Some blood. Leads through there. What the hell happened back here? Whoa. What? 
What am I looking at? This is at? where we went off the road two months ago. You're trying to decide if you should shoot me in the head right now. <laughs> Go ahead. That's what you want. I won't stop you. I don't think what? I want to kill Travis. No. He's not hurting us right now. And we'll get him arrested with his evidence. Normally, I'd have werewolf's blood cover our scent, but I'm all out, so we're high risk. We could be killed. Isn't there some on the ground? You ready to end this? Just, like, rub it all over you. Let's fucking do this. Let's fucking do this. Go team. Sorry, Eliza, but it has to be done. Or is she even going to read my tarot cards after I murder her son? God damn, this place has got some uncool vibes. Podcast didn't do justice. You don't know the half of it. This is where I saw her. Her? The hag of Hackett's quarry. I thought she was... I thought Max hit her, but then I was out here and she was something else. Who? The woman. The old woman. She was saying something over and over again. Oh my god, she was saying Silas. No, that's impossible who you're talking about. I saw her too. In the run tunnels. It's Eliza Voris. Silas's mother. I think. Hey, <laughs> you think? Who was she? She ran a traveling sideshow called Harem Scarum. Came here six years back. She kept her son in a cage. Called him Silas the Wolf Boy. Died in a fire. Did he, though? Some say she never left. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. <laughs> yes, Ryan. We've been looking for Silas ever since. How did the fire start? I don't know. Really? You're still hiding stuff now? You blew half the head off my niece, Kaylee Hackett. One of the kindest, gentlest souls to ever walk this earth. All she wanted to do was help that little boy. Locked in a cage by that freak show witch. What did she do? She just wanted to help him. Travis. She convinced Caleb to start a fire. It was just a distraction. It's May Bales. Give him enough time to get Silas out of his cage and give him his freedom. That's not what happened. No. Because within minutes, everybody was dead. Never see Hayburn, Liza, whole crew. Kaylee managed to get Silas to freedom. But Caleb got bit in the process. We could just kill Caleb. I think we already did. <laughs> That's why we've been hunting him. Caitlin did. Silas, I mean. Every full moon for six fucking years. Some hunter you are. I mean, cut the guy some slack. We just killed his entire family in one night. This, this is all that's left. Jesus Christ. And it's entirely our fault. Man. Any sign? Negative. Damn, I never saw any of this. I didn't even know this was here. And you must not have been looking very hard. If you didn't know this was here for six years. Careful, Ryan. Huh? Ryan? Ooh. Shit. I'm so 
sorry, that was... Close. We must be close. Did you both see, see it too? Kind of wish I hadn't. <laughs> Same. So this is it, huh? We're gonna find him? What is it? Silas the dog boy. That must be it. Careful. Oh my goodness. Is that him? Fucking Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Kill him. Shoot it now. Shoot. What's wrong? You can't guilt trip me anymore, Eliza. What are you waiting for? Shoot the stupid girl. Yes. It's not your boy anymore. Are you sure about this? Shoot. I have to. You can't guilt trip me anymore! Please, let's just let's just go. Before Everyone we, should be cured now. See him like that in human form. It's too late for that. We lifted the werewolf's curse, right? Oh, she's not gonna be happy with me. God. I bet you think you have it all figured out. I bet you think you're fucking clever. I tried to help you. I tried to warn you. I even started to like you. Not now. Not after this. No. I will not forget what you made them do to my Silas. That's not your son anymore. I've been with you all night. And I'm not about to stop now just because the night's come to an end. No. Whenever you hear a noise in the dark, a whisper from the shadows, the breath on the back of your neck, that's gonna be me. I'll be there. Now I will never leave you. I'll never leave you. Is that a threat? So, <laughs> we cured the werewolf's curse, but now we have the hag's curse. Oh, I could hide the it's daytime. Of the bluebird as she sings. And we completed the game with everybody alive, except for uh, the Hackett's. They're, they're all dead, except for one. What's its ring? Sleep out of my eyes. My shaven razor's cold and it stings. Max Brimley alive. Having survived the night, Max was cured of the werewolf curse when Ryan shot Chris. Emma was killed by werewolf Max. Bobby was mauled to death by his werewolf brother. Chris was killed when his favorite counselor Ryan shot him with silver. Constant or shot Constance's face off in a struggle. See, I told you it was bugged. Jedediah was choked to death by a vengeful Laura. Chris Hackett's daughter Kaylee was shot and killed by Laura, who mistook her for werewolf Chris. 
Jacob lived! Having successfully avoided affection, Jacob was freed of the Hackett's basement and survived the night. Nick survived the night, and when Laura killed Silas, Nick's werewolf curse was lifted. Abigail made it to the safety of Chris Hackett's surveillance room. Dylan survived the night by taking refuge from Caleb in the kitchen. Caitlin survived the night by killing Caleb, curing all those infected by his lineage. Oh, Jesus. Abigail was able to pass silver shells to Caitlin during the attack on the lodge. He's so young! Travis survived the encounter with Silas and finally saw an end to the curse that had haunted his family for six years. Ryan was cured of the werewolf infection when he shot Chris and managed to survive the showdown with the white wolf. Laura killed Silas with a silver shell, curing every infected person. Oh my god, look at him! Laura killed Silas the dog boy. And the police are here? And the FBI? What's with the tinted out car? You're scaring me. Well? Bodies recovered in summer camp murder mystery. Oh. What do you make of that, Anton? Bad journalism? Murder mystery? Isn't that just an unsolved murder? Yes, I, I suppose that is what most journalists would say. But perhaps the journalists of North Kill share my supernatural suspicions. Hmm. Yeah, I guess there wouldn't be much competition in North Kill. Probably not getting the best writers there. Oh, this okay, is the podcast. Can we at least podcast. start the podcast before you completely resign yourself to cynicism? I thought we'd done the whole Hackett's Quarry thing. Not <laughs> this Hackett's Quarry thing. Oh, yeah? What was this, like, three months ago? Old news, dude. Anton? Introductions first. We are Bizarre Yet Bonafide, the podcast of the paranormal. I'm Grace. And I'm Anton. And together, we explore the possibility of supernatural involvement in real life, everyday occurrences. It wasn't exactly possible, it are. happened. Real life, everyday occurrences. With a shadow of spiritual, supernatural occurrences. No. <sighs> okay, so. I hope you've got hat insurance, Anton, because I'm Okay, about to I'm gonna blow skip your... this. Oh, playing as a crow? I don't know if this is worth listening to. Mine. Hang on. Did you just ask if I had hat insurance? Yes. Can I it's responsible to insure those things which mean I can't most skip it. A hat. Yes. Oh. Okay, so I just have to end it like this. Good lord! That was an awesome game. I, I really thoroughly enjoyed that. And I hope you all did too. Um, this game was gifted to me. I think I forgot to mention that at the beginning. But somebody gave this to me. And uh, for that I am ever grateful for uh, allowing me to experience Hackett's Quarry. But nah, seriously, this game was awesome. If you guys want it, you should definitely go get it. If you think you'd be interested in it. Um... Games like The Walking Dead. If you liked Until Dawn, you're going to love this game. Anyways, I'll see you all in the next video.